Now we're going to discuss the anchoring mechanisms of the scalenes and the serratus anterior. What I have here is I've actually put the medial and posterior heads of the scalene. I'm actually going to take this posterior head away so that you can kind of see what we need to understand about how the scalenes and the serratus anterior actually grow together, very similar to how the third finger of the pectoralis minor and the fifth finger of the stratus anterior grow together as an anchoring mechanism. So the medial head of the scalene goes from C2 to anywhere from C5, C6 to C7, depending on the person. The posterior scalene pretty much attaches posteriorly on these transverse processes of the cervical spine and around C6, C7 and then they come down to the second rib. The medial goes to the first rib. The significance of this is the serratus anterior actually attaches to the first, second, third ribs directly underneath where the scalenes actually attach. So when there's a lot of dynamic force coming up from the scapula through the serratus anterior, you can see how pressure and force is going to travel up the neck and then cross over to the other side. If there's a lot of depression motion going on and the head has to maintain its structure on the horizontal plane for the eyes, you will start to develop scar tissue between this medial head of the scalene and this first finger of the serratus anterior as well as this posterior head of the scalene and this second finger of the stratus anterior. Now the way you will know that the scalene is involved is not from this side, it's actually the opposite side that shows up with the pain. Because this side of the scalenes and this side of the scalenes balance one another off of the cervical spine, you will find that when you have that pull, you're going to have that resistance show up on this side. So when we go to work with these particular structures, especially as we are trying to break up the scar tissue between these fingers of the medial and posterior head and the stratus anterior, we are actually going to palpate this side to know when our work is done on the opposite. So again, our medial head of the scalene, our posterior head of the scalene, and the first two fingers of the stratus anterior on ribs one and two.